absolutely dynamic in the opening frame. Memphis wins the tip. See what Kyrie has in store on his 30th birthday. Here is Bain elevating and hitting Desmond Bain. Irving's first game since he had 60 in Orlando. Here's Irving around the Durant screen. Shot clock all the way down to five. Durant finds the cutter. Brown's floater is good. The first basket of the game. We're at almost a triangle of his own on the back to try and protect. Nice job by Bruce. Brown denies Bain, stays with it, can't finish. Adams, the offensive rebound, best O-boarding team in the league. And it sets up Bain from out, turns it over. That's another key for the Nets tonight, not turning it over against this Memphis team which is fifth in the league in defensive turnover percentage. Brooks given a whole lot of space and buries the three. Brooks open. So an early 8-2 lead for Memphis. Nets without Seth Curry, without Goran Dragic tonight. And even though Memphis does not have John Moran, Nets are going to need to be totally locked in. Grizzlies play so well without him as Tarrant somehow got it. Again, the angles that he gets off shots around the baseline are just spectacular. Tyus Jones and Memphis carving up the Nets D in the early go. Create a lot to go along with the shooters you have to pay attention to on the perimeter. Dylan Brooks fronting Durant. Here is Brown. Brown going one-on-one -on -one with Jackson. Shot clock down to five. Durant, double, finds Brown on the cut. Extra B, Drummond flushes it down. Leave Drummond open. Durant hanging with Jaron Jackson. Jackson just muscled past him and then flushed it down. Here out of Michigan State, the fourth pick of the 2018 draft. He can score. He's been one of the best defenders in the league this season, but he can score on that end. Wow. Kyrie Irving spinning his way to two. Yep, you said it. Edwards getting the start tonight with no Curry or Dragic. Brown, little floater, pushed it too strong. Drummond is there for the tip. So what we continue to see is... Here comes Irving. Will pull. And hit from three. Kyrie Irving. There is such a locked-in nature he has presented. It's been amazing to watch. Brooks fading away. No, Adams, another offensive rebound, and puts it back in. Here. NBA flashback hosted well, no. by Sarah Kustak. That's R2 terrific. R2C2 hosted. But I'm, what you got? What I'm you telling got? you, this today's episode of the et cetera, terrific listen. So much interesting content really breaking things down. Durant getting into detail about double teams as that floats in for Brooks plus the foul and a chance. Dylan Brooks had missed 27 games with an ankle sprain. This is his fifth back. He's such an important factor in when we talk about the physical nature and how this team plays on the defensive end. And you see he's been matched up against Durant, matched up against Kyrie. He brings so much to the table on this end and the group feeds off of him. Here's Brown, cutting through, floating up, missed it too strong. Rebound taken down by Melton, dashing ahead. Melton will pull, and hit from three. Shooting in at about 34.5%, but able to knock down that one. Known for his defense. In Memphis, sometimes you could take the temperature with how they play based on how they're shooting the three-point shot. That's a one area that can be inconsistent, which is why when they get the lead, it's hard to play against them. Drawman just missed the finish. Brown able to collect it, give the Nets another chance here. Mills had it taken away, but stepping out of bounds was Melton. And it will stay with Brooklyn. We mentioned the three-point shooting for Memphis. They are just 24th in the league in three-point percentage as well as three-point attempts. They make it easy buckets, so many different areas. Durant rattles in a jumper, and a difficult one at that. Tough, tough shot. But yeah, and that's why, though, when Memphis is able to jump out to the lead, play the way they do, they don't need to focus as much about those three-point shooting spaces. Great hands by Drummond digging in on the steal. Here's Irving. Slings it to Brown. Had trouble with the gather. Was able to finally. Got a good look. Unable to finish. Brown's been so good of late. Cold start here. One of four. That's going to be a foul against Irving. And free throws here for Memphis. 
a shot by Kevin Durant. You get the hand up and look, he's got Kyle Anderson on him. It's the quick dribble, step and pull. And he's going to see, we talk about the double teams, but just the variety of different players that the Grizzlies could toss at him, whether they want more strength, whether they want more size, more quickness. It's something that he's been accustomed to, but obviously the luxury when Kyrie Irving is on the floor as well and you got other shooters some release valves to make the decision the defense have to make decisions one of the delineations he was making on that boardroom etc podcast sarah was that you know it's one thing when you get kind of blitzed or trapped on a pick and roll he was like but what he was facing against dallas was completely different true double team where two bodies were coming at him as soon as he crossed half court as he turns it over here now giving it up oh what a touch pass brooks to adams for the flush and the Memphis lead right back to seven. Irving floats it. Brown able to find the angle. Tough finish for Brown, especially with Adams right behind him. Bruce Brown averaging just under 16 points per game over his last nine. Anderson, one on one with Irving, has the size, can't finish it. Drummond trying to hang on to the rebound, and a jump ball is called. It's going to be a harder assignment than normal.